Many people can remember learning how to do outlines in school. And I'd like to show you that I believe Google has created kind of like an updated outline that you might want to use with your students. Uh, and I'm going to show you going to Google Drive. We're going to go to New, and I'm going to do a new Google Doc. For titling, this is where I'm going to show you how to start to use um, the outlining feature. Actually, you're going to navigate up here to Styles. You may have seen this before. It says Normal Text. I'm going to use a title for this, and I'm going to call this Google Docs. And if you've never known this, when you do a title, um, if you type it first and then you tap up here for the type, document title, it will put it up there for you. I'm going to center this for us. So now I have a document title. Now I'm going to do heading one. So it's going to do it slightly different, and I'm going to call it using styles. And by using styles, I can help organize a document. And notice I did a style at this point. I did not do a style here. This is just normal text. When I go down here and I'd like to do a new heading one, notice it gives me a little space. So it's starting to help me to organize it here. We're going to talk about viewing the outline because viewing the outline helps to see the layout of the paper. And this can help your students. And so I'm going to navigate up to view and it says show document outline. And you're going to notice it does do the title slightly bigger and then it does those main points. It doesn't do the sub points that I did in there. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to do now another heading. And I'm going to call it changing the style. So if this is not necessarily a font for you, I think I want to use something a little bit different. And how about I'm going to use Comforta. And actually, I want that for every single heading one. I'm going to navigate back up here to my styles and heading one. There's a little arrow. And I'm going to say update heading one to match. So now all my heading ones will be that. Hmm, this is kind of cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a heading two, and I'm going to do some points down here. Maybe talk about font and size. Oops, this one I forgot to select. So heading two, size. I'm going to do color as well, but I'll show you how that works. So for font and size, I'm going to select these. Um, I can switch the font. Let's say I want something a little more fun. Let's do cookie. And I want to do, oh, in between here, I'm going to actually do size 20. So I can customize that. And I would like to do it in, let's say, a purple color. So that's what I would like. So again, I go back up to the style. I go to heading 2, and I go to update. So when I do the next one here, and I do a heading 2, I'm going to say that it can also do color. So notice, again, this is starting to show me the outline right here. This can be very helpful for students writing papers or even you organizing some of the um, materials that you have. So maybe take a look at Google's updated outlining features and you by using styles. And this can hopefully help you take two for tech and save some time.